Alright guys, so today I got the review of the Lat 264 Gobi, the one of the most talked about mid-ranges out of the Trilogy lineup, you know, it's might not be mainstream talked about it, but a lot of guys around here absolutely love it, and if you ever hear anybody, especially on like the Disc Golf Answer Man podcast, they, they talk it up a lot. So uh, I got them to send me out one to review for you guys, and uh, let's see what all the hype's about. Alright, for your number guys out there, with Speed 5, Glide 5, a turn of negative 1.5, and a fade of one, uh, that basically means for you non-number guys out there that it's going to have a ton of glide and it's going to be uh, understable mid-range with just enough fade that it won't just turn and burn, you know, it won't come out of your hand and just crash. It's actually going to have just enough stability to just slowly come out of it. Uh, the wind I'm throwing in out here in the field is pretty swirly. I'm trying to note in the video when it's a tail, when it's a head. It was, it was all over the place on me out there, but basically it is exactly what the disc says it is. It is a understable mid-range. Where it excels the best in is going to be that nice, long, slow turnover flight. It just absolutely loves to be thrown with a slight hyzer, flip up, and just hold that long, slow turn and just kind of falls back to flat without really ever coming back. Uh, in a tailwind, you can actually get it to hyzer flip to flat, and you'll see just a hair little bit of fade in some of the tailwind shots you see. I've never really thrown the Gobi. I, uh, the overmold, I don't know if I was a fan of it or not. You know, I love my truce. I have like five different truce that do five different things, so I never really gave the Gobi a chance. Uh, for you guys that don't know, the overmold, uh, you see the rim around the edge is a gold line plastic, but it maintains that amazing grippy optoplastic in the middle. That's what the flight plate's made out of, and it's merged together to make the overmold. Uh, I don't know why I didn't try it. It feels absolutely great in the hand. It reminds me almost of like a, uh, either a Meteor or like just a standard Buzz type disc, that naturally understable disc with an absolute ton of glide. This is up there with the truth as far as glide goes. This thing really just goes. Uh, I think the people that are going to love this disc the most are the ones that maybe find the Emac Truth or the Truth is too stable for you. Uh, you're wanting that mid-range, but the Truth is just too much disc for you. You're going to love this disc to have a nice straight, straight flight for you. If you already have your Truth and you love your Truth and you love that predictable straight and fade at the end, the Gobi is going to be a great uh, partner for it because it's going to have that straight flight, but it's going to have that slight turn at the end as well, depending on how much hyzer you give it. Uh, where I think this disc is going to excel the most is definitely in the woods. This is going to be a king in the woods. For all those times you can't really power up a pow uh, putter because there's not enough power up a putter, power up a putter. That was almost a tongue twister. You almost got me there. But for those times you can't power up a putter, and, you know, the ceiling's a little lower, this is going to be great. It's going to give you that, that hyzer flip to flat, and it's going to stay straight or turn on you, depending on how the hole finishes, but it's never going to crash back on a hyzer and go back into the woods. It's just going to hold it. Uh, you sidearm guys. Oh, yes, I did some sidearms with it. Really surprised at the mount. It, it has to do with the collide. It, the really surprised with just the effortless distance I was getting. Uh, again, where this thing is going to excel is that, you know, you're stepping out around something, you need to throw... And down the straight shot and not have it crash. You know what I mean? You want to throw that sidearm that comes out straight and settles. You don't want it to like just turn and burn on you on that hyzer. Uh, you're really going to love using this in the woods again uh, to keep you in the fairway. And with the mount of glide, you don't have to give it hardly any power and it just it snaps out your hands and just goes. So to sum it all up, I recommend you're going to find it from beginner to pro and everybody in between is going to find a use for this. Uh, I really think it's going to shine though once you get up that arm speed to make this thing do what it does naturally and that's just that slow turnover. It's going to be a go-to disc for you. If you know, you, you truth lovers out there that you know, you wait and wait and wait for your truth to beat in to get that natural flight, it's nice to be able to just go pick up one of these and already have that flight with pretty similar glide. For you guys that really really love the Gobies and you're looking for, you want the Gobi but you want it to be just a little bit more stable to, to complement your normal. So. Take a look at that. That's a production run Gobi. You know, really flat, really gummy, really flat. Keep an eye out for a Gobi like this. It has, I know you probably can't hear it because my mic's messing up at the moment. It's got a lot of dome and a lot of pop to it. If I can push my thumb, it'll make like a heartbeat sound. 
you'll see throughout the videos, uh, anytime it's a pink one, it is this one, and it is more stable, and that's because of that pop top dome to it. So, so I get that same feel of a Gobi, and, but I get that little bit more stability, so I can really power up on it. So yeah guys, that's just a quick look at the Gobi from Latitude 64, that overmold technology that they are perfecting pretty darn good. I'm actually interested to see how far they go with this. Um, so as always guys, you guys know that Dynamic sent this bad boy out to me. You didn't know that? Are you not following me on social media? You should be following me on social media. And speaking of social media, how do you win this bad boy? Well, today it's going to be a shout out to my Facebook guys. You guys have been killing it over there and we have been having a lot of fun on the uh, Facebook page, hanging out and chatting. Uh, we are going to share this video and tag it Gobi Gobi and tag Rec Rob. I want a Gobi Gobi. You do that in the post and I will see it on my, on my little notification feed and uh, pick one of you guys who shares it to get this, this right here. I do apologize whoever gets it though. I was in one of the sidearms that I did, I was a standstill sidearm, and it just blew by the camera. It was probably around 275, almost 300 foot around, and I, and I was just doing a standstill. And it had so much glide, it just popped up and went flat. So it's got a little scuff on it from where it hit the bleachers. Sorry! But other than that, it's perfectly fine and it still flies. Amazing. So, as always guys, if you like the video and you want to see more reviews from Latitude 64 and the Trilogy family, smash that thumbs up button and I will be sure to make sure that we get these out more and more and more. We're looking at about once a week with these reviews. I think that's what we're going to start to schedule on. So if you guys want to see them once a week, you guys smash that thumbs up button and I will make sure that it happens. All right, guys, as always, try to be better than yesterday. You're not going to be Ricky Wasaki tomorrow, but if you're just better than yesterday, you're always making improvements. And of course, as always, take it easy.